all, Binks here. Uh, there was a big change to a kind of key card for control in Marvel Snap, uh, and that is Sandman. Uh, Sandman went to a 507 power that says on reveal next turn, cards cost one more. Uh, so a very different effect, still very, very powerful card, uh, but does it really have what it, it used to as far as like control tools? I don't necessarily think so, but we wanted to try our best to give it a shot. Uh, and if you're going to run Sandman, you probably want to have Mobius in your deck. So we ran a really interesting Sandman Mobius kind of junk Cersei style deck. Uh, we have Ultron in here as a finisher. Uh, we have some, some small cards like White Widow, Hood, and Titania. So that when we play Pixie, we can swap to some uh, different kind of higher power cards. Uh, lots of ways to send over things like Hood and the Void corrected from Century uh, with Viper and Annihilus on our side. Or we could just Cersei it, of course, uh, if we're just trying to get rid of those negative points. Uh, and you can have some pretty devastating final turns. You get like really cheap Elias, really cheap Ultrons. Uh, you can really blow up your opponent's spot. Uh, overall, this deck was a little bit disappointing. I think that uh, there's some ways that you can adjust it and fine tune it, but we really wanted to do our best to uh, try and make Sandman shine as best as he possibly can. Uh, especially if you're seeing a lot of bounce, Sandman can still be super, super devastating, which is really, really cool. Uh, and what's cool now is that uh, instead of being able to Sandman and then just playing one card of your own, uh, you can now play Sandman with Mobius down and then play multiple cards and your opponent can only play like one or two, which can be really, really powerful. Uh, hope that you kind of fine tune this deck and try and make it your own. I'm not super good with Pixie, uh, so I think that this is kind of a raw, more idea of how to utilize Sandman than a, than a super refined deck. But these highlights are awesome and I hope that you enjoy. As always, if you're enjoying this content, make sure to hit the like button. Check down below. Make sure you subscribe. Catch you live at twitch.tv slash banks underscore plays. Enjoy. You peace. You can fight for Asgard a little bit as a treat. Let's get a little chaos going. Well, chaos never hurt nobody. Orca Pog! Oh my gosh, it's Derek. I was trying to get Derek kicked out of uh, Dexter's chat earlier. Maybe just do this and then Orca left. Sound effects for Bink jump scares should be a sound of a bite of Binks from your thing song. Binks. It's not that scary though, right? I succeeded. They can't Ajax us everywhere. Can't see the number of cards. Yeah, you can. It's you can figure it out. It's close enough. They have a bomb Ajax. Erect. Get orchid. I also, for like the first 24 hours since my Spider-Man was up, I thought it was just a random card in the lane, not the lowest cost. It's quite funny. You're playing hammers and suddenly every opponent has a counter for hammers. Okay, okay, okay. You, let's kill him. Let's kill this guy. Let's beat him to death with hammers. So true. That was lowest power. It's lowest cost. Rear card would probably be a buff. Mm, I don't disagree. Being able to target things is almost always uh, good. We're going to start doing the doles. Uh, I can't do Bandle today because we did it so late yesterday that I, I did today's already. Uh, Rumbento, I, I don't know what you're calculating, but 
In that play, Ultron left, tied right 8-8, eight to eight, and they wouldn't get any float from their sunspot. I'm guessing that's where you're messing up. Uh, and just, I, I don't know, thinking that that's wrong somehow? I'm not quite sure. Why not hood middle, then activate the Cersei? And then play ultra mid. If you hood middle, the activate will happen on the hood, which doesn't do anything. I'm pretty sure we're insanely cooked, man. So new backgrounds and snap. Yeah, backgrounds would be cool. I, I completely agree with that. They have done cool with like uh, changing the music a lot recently for anyone who still uses the in-game music. Well, this same man's pretty damn good. To counter what they're probably trying to do. Need like Ultron, I think. All right. I mean. Ultron probably still doesn't work, right? Well, Ultron probably wins. I, I guess like Rocket, Rocket Demon enough? Their first Rocket didn't go off, I don't think, right? Did their first Rocket go off? I don't remember, I don't know. This probably wins sometimes. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing they probably, um, I'm guessing Room BM is like looking at the board state after the Sunspot got plus five and arguing that Infinite would have won, but you have to subtract the five from the board state. There's no strings on me. Uh, it could just be Sean, Sean Middle cooks us like crazy, right? Probably Sean. Eh. It shouldn't have time for Sean Middle, right? Give me that Titanium back. Peace. Hey man, I tell you what, Sandman's the one who won us that game. Troy's always a rather bad matchup, but this looks too top heavy for picks to be worth. Almost feels like an electrolyst. Cool. Plethora means a lot to you. Pretty funny. I'm gonna give you a plus two on that one. Enough said, Bob. Oh. Um, and these are good. Can I use one now. I feel like I kind of have to. Nice 50 50. Okay, that's a pretty good hit. I, was, I think it's like Hood into Annihilus Ultron. Looks really messy, but. Works. Damn close, but it works. There's no strings on me. Whew. I think we kind of lucked out there. Cause like, I don't know, like the Cersei and the Ultron look great on paper, but like with these locations, it could have gotten really funky. If you're just looking for the meta to be bad. You can always find a reason for it. I promise you that. But if you're looking at this meta and thinking that it's terrible, and you've looked at the last meta and you thought it was terrible. And you looked at two metas after that and you said it was terrible. Maybe start doing some inward thinking. Start thinking, am I just bad at enjoying things? You know? That would be my bit of advice. What's my most memorable Cersei play? Man, there haven't been many. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. I might not be able to play next turn, dude. There's a legitimate chance I just will not be able to play any cards next turn.
Ah, the pin tweet is almost assuredly my most memorable Cersei play. It's a great point. Mobius probably cooked them pretty hard. But there's a chance they can be 20 left. With like multiple um, she hulks and stuff. But they're probably scared of right as well. So, I don't know. Nice. Crazy stay. The range stay, if I'm being honest with you. But Partridge is a friend of the show, so. Probably just being a homie. Nothing first turn. Pass. Okay, they have Sandman. We have Gilgamesh. Mobius, Sentry, and a Viper is something. Mm. Just immediately Viper. Wow. I should have swapped these. I should have swapped these. Should have swapped those for sure. Mm, they're checkmated, so they probably leave if we snap, right? Oh, snap. Okay. Victory. We couldn't win there against Blue Marvel, but we, we can make them feel like there's no way that they could win, which is more important. Good game. It was a bluff they were playing Hammer Bros? How do you know that? Oh, because when I played them last time? Yeah, okay, what if they had switched, though? That deck could also run death, no? Probably shouldn't. We could. It's actually my favorite hoodie. It's by one of my favorite uh, companies called Threta. I have a lot of their uh, stuff. I actually just got two new shirts from them. And a sweet uh, windbreaker. Threata? No, it's threat. It's T H R Y D A, I think. This could be another really strong Sandman game here. Love you a good windbreaker. Two men. Could go like rock right, Cersei right. Could just rip an Ultron. Same it should be annoying. Oh yeah, you're cooked, man. You're cooked, brother. The same it's really good when we play bounce. I tell you what. Victory. I think rock should cost zero. 
Um, yeah, I mean, I guess you can. I don't know why, though. Mike.tv, friend of the show. Energy efficient, I'm gonna have to be this game, so I think just playing those both those out is fine. A pixie could potentially go like double viper next turn, it's shit, makes shit a little weird. Century. Nihilus, please. Wow. So huge. This is still going to lose to Infinite Middle. Damn. Unless. No, oh, they could just infinite right. We go by three left, they're gonna Legion left. Man, if I would have Venom first. Infinite? It's infinite, right? Wow, we beat infinite here. Wow. Crazy. Crazy that this beats infinite. They, they probably has to respect it, but Mike might play it up, might play it out either way. Heimdall? Victory. <laughs> Does Heimdall get it? Heimdall left gets us. I'm not sure what in this deck is cope and what is actually good. I can't really tell. I think it has some good ideas. I don't really know what to adjust. The Titania kind of feels like the worst card, I think. Here's your, here's your Agatha for the Agatha enjoyers. Okay, let's hope they're on wave. They're on the wave game plan. Fun. Maybe one cost an Nihilus in hand. I'm, I'm, I'm willing to vibe for a bit. Hopefully they wave here. But I'm guessing this is like a Black Knight stamp. Need a good top deck here. Good top deck here. Good, good top deck, please. Quite good, actually. Quite, quite good.
Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. It's Ghost Rider, it's probably just Ghost Rider, right? Us victory. Alright, let's go Mobius. Let's go Mobius. Why don't they just eat the cards? They could have just flipped the table, that's true. Hmm, I don't want a white widow there. Okay. Doesn't matter what I want to do. <laughs> and you're right, Chatter. No, I didn't have a better play. That's why I didn't win. Yeah, some people forget that. Yeah, GG's toppy. Damn, yeah, Mobius is a really good idea. Yeah, it could be annoying. I mean, I still think it's bad. I'm pretty sure the consensus is that it's not very good. For, from today's stream, at least. Maybe you could work together a deck like this where it does work, but... I'm not, I'm not fully convinced. Alright, now we have to play around Loki, which is uh, awesome. Best Dixie deck is a bunch of zero and one cost and Hulkling. Keep that in mind. Go to Lyathos here. All right. I think at this point I just kind of have to get lucky and hope that they don't have a properly timed Eliath. They did Eliath us, yeah, yeah. I should get his Pryo. My Viper! Pretty good. Uh, pretty good. There's no strings on me. Thing is, there's no strings on me, chat. There, there are none strings here. Any subs for Cersei? Cersei feels really important in the deck, but you can just take any other big five costs. Try like a Legion or something. Bigs, bigs, bigs. I hope you like the vibe. Bigs, bigs. Like and subscribe. Bigs, bigs. I hope you like the vibe. Bigs, bigs. Like and subscribe.